Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. I'm SpinX, and in this part, jeez, it's been a while to play this, but in this part, we are in Vermilion City. And, uh, we can't really do much here. Actually, what we can do is. I'm not sure if you guys have been calling this all along, but. Hello? Uh, yeah. Do I have a Spearow? Want to trade for my Farfetch'd? Yeah, I'm gonna trade a meal for a Farfetch'd. Why? Because. Well, for one of his Let's Play, he traded. He made a reference to this or something. I don't know, I actually don't remember why I was doing this, but I just think it's funny that I'm trading my Trade Conway for a Farfetch, which many people consider one of the worst Pokemon in the game, but I personally never have used. But when I was briefly um, playing with him, it was kind of fun. So I just thought it would be fun to actually use Chitting! I don't know what Chitting is, it almost sounds racist. But uh, yeah, eventually we'll be able to change his nickname to not Chitting, but for now we'll have a... Let's actually open them up. We have Chiding level level 18, Adam Nature, I don't know what that means. I, he's holding a stick, which actually doubles his base attack or something like that. And then his critical hit ratio, so he hit, gets a critical hits a lot. And one of the best things you can actually do with him is I will actually go demonstrate this right now. Because it, it's a really high critical hit ratio, I swear. We can go over here and just, well, let's just talk to him. And hopefully win, lose, or draw. I don't know, but... One of the best things you can do with Farfetch'd is, I uh, kind of look the old man. Okay, this should be fine. Is you can, I'm delaying this too much, do something like Fury Attack. God damn it, seriously? Seriously? Seriously. I'm trying to show off this and you're just all like, no, I'm not gonna let you show off your little Farfetch'd. You're gonna sit here and try to use this fucking attack while I'm asleep. Okay. Come on, Farfetch, just. Okay. Well, I actually, I actually like Poliwag. I'd, I'd love to get a Poliwag for multiple reasons, but okay, okay, watch this. Critical hit. Like, you do something with multiple attacks, like, like if you're a tech. See, look, two fucking critical hits in a row. Just, Firefetch is amazing, I don't care what anyone says, that's the moral of the story. Okay, and he's gonna use a horsey, and I'm just gonna completely destroy it with, hopefully get a little bit more realistic of a attack from Farfetch. Something like... You get a critical hit every time you use for your attack, which which is actually uh, pretty damn good, and I think is honestly better than Spiro. I don't think he gets quite as fast or quite as anything besides of his like insane attack stat when you have oh, come on, only two attacks. Come on, Farfetch. You're supposed to be I'm supposed to be pitching you to this wonderful audience I have, and you're just like, uh-uh, uh-uh, not gonna happen. No. Whatever. And he can learn flying stuff, so that's actually kind of useful. But, uh, that took way too long to actually demonstrate. I'm gonna actually go ahead and cut away and- Oh, I'm gonna grab this first. Eh, okay. And I'm actually gonna check something. Do I have- Okay, I only own 21 Pokemon. Anyways, I'm gonna cut away and I will meet you back right over here. Yeah, just a second. Okay, guys, and I'm back and we're actually gonna head to- Well. The gym over there is blocked off by that cut, and we don't have cuts, so what can we do? Well, we can go into the SSN, which you barely gave us the ticket to. Yes, I do. Flash the ticket. Welcome to the Great SSN. Uh, I've never really understood this area so much that you just walk into the SSN, you don't really go on a cruise, you're just suddenly here again. Anyways, you can heal right here, um, really anytime you want, and I'm just gonna go through all the battles, and I, I, I guess I'll lose that fast forwarding again, so. Yeah, I'll meet you guys back here. Hey guys, um, yeah, just real quickly, this is, uh, recorded in post-commentary, so it's, uh, I don't know, I can't even see my screen right now, it's just messing up on the editor or something, but I just want to do, you know, cut in here, take a little bit of time to apologize, because, uh, you know, I've, I've been really busy lately, I haven't been able to update, I think it's been, like, a week and a half since I put out the last one, because, I don't know. Honestly, it's a little bit hard to remote my, motivate myself nowadays, even though I am enjoying it recording when I do record. But you know, that's just kind of the nature of the game. Instead of being like more level-based and progressing through different stages and stuff like that, it is kind of... Uh, it, I just want to keep playing it in a way that just makes it a little bit more depressing to try, and... Yeah. Um... I don't know, reflecting back and everything, I do have a couple of record things, like backlog and everything, so I... I don't even know, like, I've just had these recorded and just haven't been getting around to editing it, and, I don't know, it's also part of the, like, I've been, like, look, I was looking for music, and you'll hear what I put, you'll hear what I'll put in, like, literally right after I stop talking, but, 
yeah, it was just really kind of annoying, so... Yeah, I'd just really like to apologize to you guys, too, for not being able to get these out. Um, I will be having finals relatively soon, so uh, in a month or so, I'll probably be uploading quite a bit more frequently, which, uh, depending on your viewpoint, is either a good or bad thing. Uh, anyways, guys, I will just leave you back to my fast-forwarding of this, um, get back to the music, and yeah. Hey guys, yeah, Pidgey's evolving. I just thought, or Tweety's evolving. I just thought I'd come back and show this. So it's been going well. I'm not sure actually how I was going to edit this. I kind of thought it was going on for a little bit too long. So yeah, but now we have a Pidgeotto. Tweety, you're just you're a big bird now. Ah. But yeah, that's all I really had to say. And uh, yeah, fucking. If you haven't been noticing, just like fucking Chiding has just been owning everything. Just like, I swear, like half of the hits are critical hits. That's why I kind of like it. Anyways, I'll uh, get back to it, yeah. Alright guys, and we are back, and uh, we have cleared all the ship, and if you have played this game before, then you know, this probably still isn't a surprise, but uh... Oh, hey there Fanny, what's up? Bonjour, Dizzy! I imagine seeing you here, Dizzy, where were you? You're really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already got 40 kinds, pal. Yeah, fuck you, you're just using the same one. Okay, yeah. I, I don't know what the hell you got 40 Pokemons. I mean, I probably could have gotten more of them, like... Close to 30 by now, but still, just fuck you. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, but he starts out with Pidgey, Pidgey Odo this time instead of like just a normal Pidgey. He hasn't gained that many levels, which is kind of surprising considering I've gained quite a few since I last fought him with the Nugget Bridge and everything. But still, not that difficult of a fight. I believe his uh, app is now Kadabra, though, which is going to be not that much of a problem, but uh, you know, Kadabras are kind of always a little bit dangerous. Um, other than that, just yeah, same old standard Gary fight. Eradicate. Uh, and this time, yeah, we're, 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 we're pretty much accounted for everything, so. I don't see us really having that much problem, that many problems, so maybe the Elite Four, and even then. It's only because it's the Elite Four than anything else. And how the fuck did you evolve your Eradicate into, like, Eradicate level 16? I think that's just probably. The next time we fight him is actually, yeah. Oh. I don't think he has it the next time. And do level 20? Yes, level 20. Do you learn anything at level 20? I do not believe you do. I don't think you learn anything until you level 24 or something. Um, let's set out Tesla there. Just getting some levels up on him, because he's not really being... He's not really the most useful starter for quite a while. Not going to be for the next... This one or the next one. But we bite on him, so... I don't know what Kinesis does. What does Kinesis even do? Let's see if he uses it again. And how is how the hell is he? I think you know disabled could miss, honestly. Well, I knew it could miss, but not just standard missing. Just, you're a terrible cadaver, man. Come on, 
the ivy sword. And let's go ahead and use Chitting, Chitting, Chitting. I, do, I still don't know what that. I, I don't know. Let's come up with a better name than go, go back to naming him Ducks. Anyways, crit, crit, crit. Oh, uh, not crit, but oh, well, I wanted, to, I wanted that clutch gun. He missed. Come so, here, you, you're a joke. You're supposed to be this great Pokemon trainer, and I out level you. I don't out catch you, but you fucking had to talk to Bill for that. Humph. At least you're raising a Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Fanny. Your opinions really mean a lot to me. I heard there's a Cutmaster on board. He uses the seasick old man. Cut itself is really useful. Uh, yep, I'll be able to be handy. You should go see him too. Smell ya. Alright, let's just uh, head up here and... Yeah, this is Sailor just... Captain. Oh, I feel hideous. Erp. Seasick. Rub the pep. Rub, rub. <laughs> this dialogue, I swear. So awkward. Woo, thank you, I'm feeling much better now. You wanna see my hidden cut technique? I'll show you my cut plastic technique if it weren't so ill. I know, you can have this, this hidden machine. He just gives you the entire machine, just like whatever, just hey, here we go, here's how you teach this Pokemon this hidden move. I'm not sure if he has copies or anything, but yuck, you shouldn't have looked. What does it say? How to conquer seasickness. Yeah, yeah, the, wait, wait, wait a second. What is that map of? Is that the Pokemon world? Uh, actually, yeah, it definitely is. That's Seafoam Island, Cinnabar, yeah, whatever. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Anyways, now that we're done with this cruise, or... We've just been, like, port the entire time, I don't know, that's what I always thought. We will actually be watching... Watching it go. Just... Goodbye, SSN. Goodbye. Off into the ocean, off to the sunset. Just... Leaving. Leaving. Leaving, leaving very slowly, evidently. Come on. Come on. I've been on a cruise ship before. They don't go that slow. Come on. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Anyways, uh... What else do I want to do? I actually want to catch things. I want to catch things. I'm not sure what to do, though. I am not sure what to do, because... I don't feel like you're going to beat the gym with this... Uh, okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a catch a Pokemon on camera. I am going to go into this Dodrio cave? Diglett's cave, right, right, right. Go in here, and we're going to catch a Diglett. Why are we going to catch a Diglett? Because I like Diglett. I like Diglett very much. Diglett is quite a boss Pokemon, and I haven't used him in quite a long time, and I just feel like I actually should. For oh, that's kind of annoying. And of course I can't use... Yeah! Pikachu, you're probably gonna die. You're probably gonna die. Or, yep, I'm probably gonna die. Oh, well. See, I just felt like, you know, just using a Diggly, use a Farfetch. Things I haven't really used before to really any effect. I don't think I've ever used a Pikachu either. And actually, I've used a, I've used a Diglett before. I actually ran around and found a Dodrio. But, uh, besides that, I don't think I have. So, that, that, it's actually gonna be kind of fun. And, use my next Pokemon. Tempted. I'm just gonna. I just want to kill this one. Honestly, I want a little bit higher level, so I don't have to train this one quite up as much, because that's kind of annoying. And off-screen training kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, let's try to find a better one. Let's try to find. I'll come back when I find one I want to catch. Yeah. Anyways, I found this level 19 one. I thought it was pretty much as good as any, so I'm just gonna try to catch it right now. Already. Deliberty of actually like weakening and everything. I just thought it'd be relevant to come back and actually show the catching of the thing and everything instead of doing my little showing that I caught Pokemon thing. <sighs> Whew, got a Diglett. And what are we gonna call him? Because he's gonna evolve eventually. And what do we want to call him indeed? And like that, I don't like three quarter. We have no, two thirds a foot tall. That's actually kind of cool. That's what are we gonna call him? I'm gonna call you. I am gonna call you something. Uh, I'm gonna cut back. Okay, I'm back, and I kind of thought of a name. I don't really know. Like, I, 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 I thought... I thought of the name Edgar, and I don't know why I thought of the name Edgar. Or maybe Edna? I don't know. Because I was just thinking, like, along the lines of Mole, and, and I was thinking, like, Wacka. Wacka might be cool, but Edgar. Kind of a classy name. You know, I'm, I'm gonna go with Edgar. Gonna go with Edgar. With, uh... 
I'm gonna go with Edgar with three Ds. Not like Double D, not like uh, Ed and Eddie, but like, you know, Edgar with three Ds. And if I can never find this G again, I should be able to find it. There you go. Ed -d 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 Gar. I like that. I like that. Okay. Anyways, guys, uh, let me just, uh, you know, I'll just end the episode off here. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, in the next part, we will probably uh, take on the gym, maybe go to the other side of this cave. Who knows? Yeah, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next part. Bye now.